So Bill Marks, City Administrator for the City of Spooner, um, what's going to happen here in a few minutes? Uh, we'll be sealing the time capsule to be opened uh, 100 years from now, and uh, the fire department brought several items over, including a helmet and a smoke detector, uh, pagers, things that probably won't be in existence uh, when, when this is opened, and then the mayor has drafted a letter explaining what life was like here and uh, offering good luck to everybody in the future. And we had a scroll that was at the mayor's ball, which most of the people that went to that signed. And then it was at the library for about a month, so a lot of citizens have signed it and wished them well in 100 years from now. Uh, we added the, the history book that was done by the, that was prepared by the advocate, wasn't it? Right, it's pretty the, uh, 2011 Pride and Progress edition of the Advocate. Uh, we also have a uh, uh, the Advocate from uh, the first of this year or, or last of last year, um, and some memorabilia from the centennial celebration that's been going on for the last year here in Spooner. So now this is a uh, when people think of a time capsule, they usually think of something buried in the ground. Right. And that was the original thought, but then the, the decided to have a, like a time, what would you call this? Uh, Nook? <laughs> uh, well, you, you called it a closet. What? closet. <laughs> this, this enclosure has two, uh, two layers of sheetrock on the outside, and there'll be a piece of paneling go over this box, a piece of paneling attached to these studs, and then they'll put two layers of sheetrock on that to, to make a fire barrier. And then there'll be a, a set of bookshelves here with a plaque explaining what's behind it. Okay. And um, as, as I think Mr. Thornley said, at, at some point in time, this building may not last 100 years, and they'll be able to just simply take this box out and relocate it to a new structure. Huh. Okay. So that's and it. The mayor's statement was that... Uh, he had hoped to be here on the day it was open, but he was unavoidably detained. <laughs> <laughs> All right, thank you very much. Yep. So this is going into, this is the scroll that was signed at the mayor's ball, right? Right, and it, it's been uh, on display here at our office and at the library. And here comes Dr. Hack. Hey. Hey, Bill. Hey. You're going to add a journal there? Oh, your book. Oh, hey, book. Right. Going into the. Did you prepare your speech? Oh yeah. <laughs> going into to the time nook. The time nook. You're not going to get in that camera right now. So you're putting in a cell phone? Yep. So just kind of to show what kind of technology was being used? Right. And he's, there's also a pager in there. Oh. And then what else, Darren? The, you had a, a tent of some kind? We, don't, we, we were trying to find a fire shelter, but we couldn't find a fire shelter. Okay. All right. But we thought we'd bring a coat over. That's an old coat. Oh, cool. Is, is, that, is that a clean coat? It's not exactly clean. <laughs> Are you going to sign the wall or something? So, how do you know? Now they know who sealed it. Not, not me. You should. <laughs> it's going to get drywalled over anyway. Yeah.